One morning, the fat controller and his grandchildren came to see Toby. Come on, Toby, we're all going to seaside. We will ride in Henrietta. Yes, sir, said Toby happily. They came to a small seaside station. Soon, the children were playing in the sand, building a splendid castle. The fat controller inspected it. My word, that's a very fine castle. Have you seen a real one like it? Yes, replied the children. It's here on the island. And they showed him a map. Hmm, pondered the fat controller. They met Toby at the harbour. Come on, we're going exploring. It will be a great adventure. Soon they were in the wildest part of the island. They stopped by a lonely signal box. Where might you be going then? asked the signalman. We're trying to find an old castle, replied the fat controller. I know the place, sir, said the signalman. There's a small junction not too far down the line. Just switch the points. When the firemen switched the points, their adventure really began. Toby pushed past branches and bushes till they came to another little junction. There they saw two old signs, one read to the castle and the other to the mine. We'll go to castle first. Toby stopped by an old water tower. There's the castle. Yes, replied the fat controller, and now we shall visit the mine. Once upon a time, the mine had been worked by the little engines and their lines were still in place. But now everything was very rusty and overgrown. The fat controller was most impressed, but Toby was rather scared. He was glad when it was time to go home. I think the castle and the mine will make a very fine place for visitors, but it will take a lot of hard work first. Yes, sir, said Toby nervously. The fat controller's plans were soon put into action, but Toby was still worried. I'm sure this place is haunted, he said to himself. It's our turn to stay here on guard tonight, Toby. Oh, y yes, why not, stuttered Toby. Beware of the ghost, Toby, Thomas said. What ghost, asked Toby. The old warrior ghost. Every night he lights his fire, then goes hunting. Toot, toot, goodbye, Thomas replied. Night came. Toby looked anxiously around. Everything seemed rather spooky. Quite suddenly, he heard a strange wheezing sound. It's the ghost, he wailed. What ghost, his driver asked. It's the old warrior. He's come to hunt me down. Don't be so daft. We'll go and investigate. They returned quite soon. The old warrior wants to meet you, laughed his fireman. Can't he wait till morning, replied Toby. Ghosts don't work day shifts, said his driver. Toby bravely made his way. Well, bless my bell, he exclaimed. There in front of him was a little old engine. This is your ghost, Toby, said the signalman. His name's really Bertram, but we call him the old warrior because he's so brave. Bertram and Toby are now firm friends. They take the visitors to the splendid castle and the mine. If there are any ghosts here, they certainly help to make the place very happy.